Hey guys, my name is Joshua Cantrell. I am from Waukegan, Illinois, and I currently live in Kissimmee, Florida. I am going to cover the topic of the action genre and the evolution of it through the years. Let's begin! What are you doing here? Let me do this. You said I can do it. Okay. All right, yay. Ha ha ha, thank you. Wanted to do your project, thank you very much. Okay, hey guys, how's it going? All right, I'm gonna be the voiceover guy for uh, Josh's movie. Yeah, my name's Max, just to let you know, this coffee is so good. Here, let me put it down, all right? Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, okay. Alright, here we go. In the 1920s and 30s, the predominant films were classic sword fighting films that battled villains with swords. Sling, sling, sling. <laughs> They're called swashbuckling films, and they're an action adventure subdrama often characterized by sword fighting and adventurous heroic characters. That's cool. Mainly set in Europe in the period between the late Renaissance and the Age of Reason. 1940s, 1950s, the era of the 1940s and 50s. The 1940s and 50s saw a different subdrama of action films. They were mainly war films or cowboy movies. War films like The Wooden Horse were mainly related on warfare. Some were prisoners of war. The plot was mainly focused on the prisoner after or during the war. The spy drama became the most famous in the 1970s, made famous by Ian Fleming's James Bond. Heck yeah. The spy drama included high-speed chases and fight scenes with special futuristic gadgets. Then emerged in the Western world, the martial arts film, most famous by Bruce Lee in Enter the Dragon. Also, there are subdramas of martial arts which included Chuck Norris in this wonderful movie. Good guys wear black. And in the 1970s, the detective genre came out, made famous by Dirty Harry, played by Clint Eastwood. Sorry, I needed coffee. The 1980s, the action era. This would be popularized by a strong male. Still, the one-man army attracted a lot of people. Action comedies would become hits. This gave way for more ethnic actors to be accepted in movies, i.e. Eddie Murphy and Mr. T in 18. Big explosions, more stunts, and bigger budgets for the action genre would become more normal. One of the most famous films in the 1980s, Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. The 1990s became the era of the sequel. The success of many of the film sequels have proven that a single successful action film could lead to the continuing of a franchise, i.e. Batman, Batman Returns, Predator from the 1980s, and Predator 2 right here in the 1990s. And a lot of the 1990 films use CGI to make things that weren't possible in real life look possible in the movies, which is really awesome. From the 2000s to the present day, a lot of movies have been turned to CGI, and most movies are, mo are now 3D, and a lot of the villains are Middle Eastern, which is not cool. So that's all Josh had for me today. Um, he is gone, so I am going to leave you guys now, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Okay, I'm going to grab my coffee and go now. Cause it's nighttime outside and I don't know why I'm drinking coffee at night, but that's all right. See you guys. I forgot my phone.